Well, it's an historic day for Tasmania as the AFL plans to announce the Apple Isle has received the 19th licence to enter the league. Drew Jones is at Hobart. Uh, Drew, today, what a big day uh, for Tassie. It's not exactly a surprise that it's going to happen today. It's been talked about for years, but it's finally happening. LJ, good morning from Hobart. Yeah, Tasmania up in lights today, one of the biggest days in its sporting history. So yesterday, the 18 AFL presidents, they unanimous, unanimously voted for Tasmania to be awarded the 19th licence in the AFL, and then the AFL Commission ratified that. Gil McLaughlin is flying into Hobart in about 40 minutes' time, and then this afternoon, he'll stand alongside Jeremy Rockliffe and officially, officially announced that Tasmania will have a 19th team in the AFL. We think they'll come in around 2027, 2028. The Tassie Devils, surely, LJ, that'll be the name. Probably green, yellow and red on the Guernsey. Uh, and it has been a huge fight for those who really believe in Aussie rules here in Tasmania. Eight bids in total over about a 25 to 30 year span. And they probably thought the chances of this happening were over when Gold Coast and GWS were handed licences uh, around 10 or 12 years ago. They believed that they deserved it because this is Aussie rules heartland. It's always been a state that has played football, but they were never considered a serious contender for a team because of the lack of the, I guess, business case for a team to survive here and thrive. But the Colin Carter report in 2020, after a feasibility report in 2019 conducted by a Tassie Footy Task Force, that turned the tide and finally the AFL is on side. So the stadium is locked away in Mac Point. That'll cost over $700 million. There'll be a roof on top, which is good. It's raining today, LJ, so the perfect example of why it needs a roof. Proud day for many Tasmanians, including Jeremy Howe, uh, who plays for Collingwood and is a proud man from Hobart. It would bring a great amount of joy to a lot of a lot of Tasmanians specifically, I think. Um, you know, I've been in the system for 13 years now. It's, all, it's always been kind of spoken about quietly and out in the back and uh, you really think it's going to happen. And, yeah, we're obviously got to the got to the place that we're all happy with and um, credit to everyone involved to be able to get it done because I know everyone back home is, like, thrilled and they'll be pumped and what it will do for not only the footy fans, but I just think Tassie in general will be, will be huge and um, it's a great result. Yeah, so the end of a very long fight for a lot of proud Tasmanians today to get their team. Two o'clock Eastern, we'll have it live for you on Fox Sports News and here on Sky News. Gil McLaughlin and Jeremy Rockliffe, the AFL CEO, arriving here shortly. Love it. Thanks so much.